In this video, we're diving into how Proton Mail's PGP encryption works in 2025 and how you can use it to protect your emails without needing a computer science degree. What's going on, everyone? My name is Eric Hunsker, and on this channel, we cut through the fluff to help you stay safe online. So if you've ever worried about your emails being read, intercepted, or just straight up exposed in a breach, this one's for you. What is PGP and why should you care? Let's start with the basics. PGP stands for pretty good privacy. And while the name sounds humble, it's actually one of the most powerful tools that we've got for keeping communication private. PGP encryption scrambles your message in a way that only the person with the right key can read it. Think of it like putting your message in a locked box and only your recipient has the key. Now it's been around since the early 90s and it's widely used by journalists, security professionals, activists, and now more everyday people who just want some privacy in their inbox. The problem? Traditional PGP can be complicated. You'd have to generate key pairs, exchange public keys, manage trust. It's the whole thing. That's where Proton Mail comes in. They've basically taken all the hard parts of PGP and baked them right into the app so that you don't have to mess around with any external software or long tutorials. Built in encryption, Proton Mail to Proton Mail. Okay, so how does this work in practice? If you're emailing someone who also uses Proton Mail, it's dead simple. The platform automatically uses PGP behind the scenes. Your messages get encrypted on your device and decrypted only when it reaches your recipient's device. No keys to exchange, no passwords to remember, no buttons to press. It's just encrypted by default. That means even Proton themselves can't read your message and neither can your internet service provider, your government, or some sketchy hacker sniffing around public Wi-Fi. This is why so many people, especially privacy conscious ones, are making the switch to Proton. Sending encrypted emails to non-Proton users. So now, what if the person you're emailing doesn't use Proton? This is where things get a little more involved, but it's still totally doable. When sending to a non-Proton user, you have two main options. Option one is password protected encrypted message. This is Proton's most user-friendly method. You type your message, choose encrypt for outside, and then set a password. The person you're emailing will get a link to view the message in a secure browser window, and they'll need to enter the password to unlock it. Think of it like giving them a temporary Proton mail inbox just for that message. You can also add a hint or share the password through another channel, like text, phone call, or smoke signal, depending on your vibe. Option two, using PGP with external email providers. Let's say the person you're emailing uses another PGP compatible email client, like like Thunderbird or Mailvelope with Gmail. In that case, you can send them a PGP encrypted message directly. To do this, you'll need their public key. You can ask them to send it to you or look it up on a public key server. Once you have it, you can import it into Proton Mail and send encrypted messages directly to their inbox. You can also export your own public key to share with others if they want to send encrypted messages to you. How to manage PGP keys in Proton Mail. So let's walk through managing your PGP keys inside of Proton. So first things first, if you don't already have Proton Mail, just click the link down in the description to go ahead and get a secure email. Just click this button right here and they've got a 30 day money back guarantee so you can try it out, see if it's right for you and make your decision within 30 days. So from here, we're gonna go to settings and then encryption and keys. Now, this is where Proton stores both your keys and any public keys that you've imported. So let's go ahead and do that now. I went ahead and just created a free Proton Mail account. So let's go ahead and click on uh, get started. We'll download the desktop app later and we'll go ahead and do that later as well. So let's go ahead and click on settings up here in the top. We'll click on all settings and then we're looking for encryption and keys so this is right here we'll go ahead and click on that and then we're looking for your addresses and keys so you'll see your proton mail address listed along with a primary key this key is automatically generated when you create your account and proton takes care of reviewing it and keeping it safe so if we come down to account keys we have it right here and we can go ahead and copy that fingerprint trusted keys so if someone else sends you a public key you can choose to trust it or not trusted keys are used to encrypt messages messages sent to that person. And then there's importing a key. So you can click on add a key and import public key, then paste the key that you got from your contact. Proton Mail will take it from there. Exporting your key. Now, if someone needs your public key, just click on export and copy the text and then send it to them however you want or upload your key server if you're feeling fancy. So here is where you go ahead and export that private key. How address verification works. Now, there's a really cool feature in Proton called address verification. This helps you avoid falling for spoofed contacts or man-in-the-middle attacks, especially when dealing with sensitive information. Here's how it works. When you first verify a contact's PGP key, Proton lets you assign a trusted status. From that point on, if the key ever changes, Proton will flag it. This protects you from someone impersonating your friend, coworker, or client with a fake encryption key. You'll see a little colored badge next to each email address. Green means all good, yellow means not verified, red means suspicious. It's a simple but powerful way to stay on top of your security. Step-by-step, -step, sending a PGP encrypted email 
email. Now let's run through how to send a PGP encrypted email in Proton Mail. First things first, we're gonna compose a new email. So just open the Proton Mail composer like you normally would. Choose your recipient. If they use Proton Mail, it's encrypted by default. Easy. For external recipients, click the lock icon. Proton will ask if you want to use encryption. If the person has a trusted PGP key, you can use that. Otherwise, set a password for a one-time encrypted message. Then write your message. Keep it short and clear. The encrypted message will open in a secure reader, so don't expect long threads. Click send. Done. Your email is now wrapped in digital armor. So to do that, we'll go ahead and come back to our inbox here. Let's go ahead and click on new message. I'll go ahead and send this to myself here. Okay, now we'll click here on this little lock here. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. I'm gonna go give it a password. And then I'll go ahead and set encryption. All right, and let's go ahead and we can send that. Now I'm gonna go ahead and open up my Gmail. All right, and here we go. Now we have our message. So this is what it looks like here. We can see that it's locked. There's nothing here. So if I go ahead and click on this, it's gonna open up the encrypted message and I'll go ahead and paste in that password I created and click on read message. So it says sub dog, subscribe for more videos. Pretty cool, huh? What happens on the recipient send? So if you use ProtonMail's password encrypted method, your recipient will get a link. When they click it, they'll be taken to a secure web page where they enter the password and view the message. They can also reply directly through that page, which keeps the entire exchange encrypted, even if they don't use Proton themselves. It's not as seamless as Proton or Proton, but it's pretty close. Why all this matters more than ever in 2025. Email is one of the most targeted areas for privacy breaches. Between phishing scams, data leaks, and email surveillance, unsecured email is basically wide open to whoever wants to look. And with AI tools being used to automate identity theft, create targeted phishing campaigns, and scrape old inboxes for useful data, encrypting your emails isn't just for journalists anymore. Using PGP with ProtonMail gives you the power to protect sensitive conversations like legal issues, financials, or health info. Keep third parties out of your inbox. Stay ahead of privacy trends before they become reactive needs. And the best part is that you don't need to be a cybersecurity expert. Proton Mail handles the technical stuff, so you can focus on what you're actually saying. So if you've ever hesitated to try email encryption because it seemed too confusing or too technical, Proton Mail has changed the game. In this day and age, sending a secure encrypted email can be as simple as sending a regular one. PGP used to be a tool for experts. Now it's for everyone, and that's a good thing. Now, if you want to get started with Proton Mail or any other products that we recommend, you'll find links down in the description below. These are affiliate links, which means we earn a small commission when you use them at no extra cost to you. And these commissions really help support the channel and allow us to continue to create free content just like this. So if you end up using it, we thank you so much in advance. And if you found this video helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you never miss an update. Here on this channel, we cover everything from VPNs and cybersecurity to how to stay safe online in detailed product comparisons. So be sure to subscribe. But other than that, thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you here in the next video.